Boom. Good We're evening, on in great boats. How do you how do? Just uh, going to get the uh, usual, find the live on the phone. Not that the comments are working. Yeah, that's irritating, isn't it? It is, mate. Absolute ball ache. And it's not just us. There's lots of people having issues with it. Yeah, so, loads of like it. I keep seeing it on the lives. Loads saying about it. So my phone decides not to work. Great. Right, I'm in. Is Helen? How are you doing, Helen? Sean. Hi, Helen. Sean's there. Evening, mate. How do? How do? Just trying to jump back on. Of course, Dave wouldn't be unhinged if we were on time, would it? Exactly. We're not. We I don't do. do on Kelly time, Marie, Helen, how are you? There we go. Um. You're right, Laura. It is somewhere in the world. Um, Evening, Mr. Denton. Hello, Dick. How you doing, mate? Today, Dick, I got a small bottle of you. In the post. Hiya, Kaylee. So, guys, we are reviewing Urban Juice. Two sacks, mate. I shall be right with you. From the lovely Kelly Belton. Over on Cloudy House. Cloudy House. Hello, PNT, Wayne Leach, how are you, mate? Wayne, I I did, while it's in my head, I did forget to do something this afternoon, Wayne Leach. You put that post up saying you had posted the little Elvis you'd done the other night on the duck race for Louise Candy Girl Cole. Awesome. Um, in, our, in On an Unhinged group. She did message me, mate, um, to say, could I go on to your post and say thank you very much to you? She can't comment at the moment. She's in Facebook jail. Oh, bless. Um, but Louise did message me, Wayne, to tell you thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, I do. That was really nice the other night, wasn't it? Yeah, it was such a good live. Um, brilliant. So, yeah, guys, we're going to review Urban Juice. Um, stick with us, though, because after the review, once the review's all done, we are... Um, we do have an announcement to make. Yeah. Hi, Podfather. Yeah, yeah, Wayne, she's on a band. She can't reply, so she did ask me to say thank you to you, Wayne. And thank you from me and Jamie as well for doing making that gesture the other night. It was awesome. Absolutely. But we have... Well, if you can, uh, tag a few people, get those numbers up, and we shall start with the hashtags. Because we've got three duck races tonight, don't we? Three duck races. So I want to get those numbers up. So I can tell you that the first two duck races will be for a place on the Elvis accumulator wheel. Which is building up nicely. It is. And if you get the numbers up, guys, the third, Kelly T, how you doing? How you doing, Kel? The, the third duck race yeah. will be for 300 mil of your choice of your choice of urban juice direct from kelly belton so all you need to do if you win that, that race we will let her know the winner you have to message kelly belton 
and you get 300 ml of urban juice of your choice if we can get the numbers up a bit more. I want to see at least 25, I reckon. Um, you could do 100 duck races and I still wouldn't win one. Uh, three duck races, for fuck's sake, the pain of watching mine swim in circles. There you go, Helen. Helen, there's your chance. Get out there, get the live out there, get the numbers up, and we can do that for you tonight. Hello, Mr. Wilson. Owen and uh, Gary. Um, whew, what a live. Yeah. What a live. And um, we have a little something to say about that after, uh, after the review tonight, mate. Absolutely. Yeah, that is the most. Oh, we'll talk about it after the review. We'll talk yeah. more about that after the review. Facebook user. Uh, Who is Facebook user? I'm guessing that's Paul because of the good. Got to scroll through. Um, I didn't even see that come up on Facebook. No. Is it Coops? Coops has no, started doing that. Paul, I'm guessing. Yeah, but I noticed Coops has started doing his good. Uh, and Hello, Daniel. Can't... I can't even... Uh, no, it's Danny AFC Talbot. There we go. Uh, Danny Talbot. Thank you, Helen. Hello, Mr. Illenworth. How you doing? So, we're 18. Stu, do you want to give him a hashtag? Oh, right, cool. right. Thank you, Dave. Before I forget, these pair, lovebirds, seven years. Yes. Happy anniversary. Poor, poor, poor Daniel. <laughs> um am i bloody facebook user again yes you are danny dude um you can try clicking the link but it never seems to work for you mate i think your facebook account is cursed it's what it is are you kelly how you doing oh kelly emberson there how do yeah. darling bless you um, right, and just to let you know, I've got four parcels being picked up tomorrow. Um, so we are going to be starting to catch up. Seventeen and, years, uh, yeah. Daniel, you'd have got less for life, mate. Monty Scott, how do, mate? How do? Yo, Monty. All right, so crack on then, Stu. Let's do right, this. Right, so let's have... It is now 11 minutes past. We will run this until 20 past. So... Cool. Eight minutes. Get free to tag, share. As I said, three duck races. Three duck races. The first two will be for... To go on the Elvis accumulator wheel at the end of the month. Yeah. The third duck race is very kindly supplied by Kelly Belton. 300 mil of urban juice of your choice, direct from her. Um, so let's see. Hashtag urban, and we'll get your names down and a number. Uh, happy days, guys. I'll keep an eye out. I'll read the names out to Mr. Harkham. That's all I'm good for. Uh, three races, and I still won't bloody win. No, you probably won't, Kels. Evening, Mr. Cartman. How do? So, first one in is Helen. Yeah. Uh, I'll catch up in a sec, Dave. Uh, Podfather. Yeah. Uh, Monty Scott. Yeah. 
Rara. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Hanna. Yeah. Wayne Leach. I'll just mention Wayne Leach reminded me as well. I've seen his message earlier and he even put extras in for Louise today when he posted off. Oh, bless. So much, yeah, so much Wayne for Lee. the community at the minute. Uh, Kelly T. Yeah. Stephen Denton. Uh, hi, Joe. Good to see you, man. Uh, Kelly yeah. Emerson. Yeah. Dave Watt. Derek Duffy. That was good. Well done this week, mate. Daniel Willemworth. What's that? You remembered to put Dave in the right spot with a dodgy duck. <laughs> you, read his, you read his name out in the right place this week, so he gets the dodgy duck. Awesome. Uh, well, what was the last one you got? Daniel Illingworth. Cool. Then it's uh, Kay Marie Hanna. Yeah. Uh, PNT. Yeah. Uh, Mick Hartman. Yeah. Owen Wilson. Yeah. Uh, Facebook user, uh, Danny AFC. Yeah. And I think that's it, mate. That's it for a minute? Yeah, that's right. it for the minute. That is what? How, what time did we say? 20 past. Yeah, so there's four minutes to go. Um, I will go through the list again. If you don't hear your name, hashtag Urban. If you want to tag anyone else to get in with a chance of the Elvis Accumulator and 300 mil of Urban Juice, tag them. They've got four minutes to join. And hashtag Urban. So we've got Helen Illingworth, one. Ian Baxter, two. Monty Scott, three. Rara, four. Sean Hanna, five. Wayne Leach, six. Kelly T7, Stephen Denton 8, Kelly Emerson 9, Dave Watt 10, Derek Duffy 11, Daniel Illingworth 12, Kelly Marie Hannah 13, PNT 14, Mick Cartman 15, Owen Wilson 16, Danny AVFC 17. Brilliant. Happy days. Uh, Sharon Duffy's in. Yeah, got that one um, there. Um, so I don't know, Dave, if I can't see it on the website, but Dave did say um, about the NHS deal that they had on when they reviewed it. I yeah. don't know if they're, they're still doing it. Right. I can't see anything on there. Just having a look now. Nothing. Not that I can it's, see, mate. Not that I can see. Is Kelly Belton here, is she? Uh, I have sent her the link. Uh, 
Reef hashtag urban. Uh, I didn't see yeah. join the live yet. Yeah, I seen her join. Hope you're feeling better, Ruth. And she hasn't come yet, yet so I think uh, Todd Father's giving her a heads up. Hi, Claire Louise. Ah, Claire Louise, that's another Facebook user, Diamond. Okay, uh -huh. Claire Louise, in the description um, on the live, there's a thing saying uh, link to let StreamYard see your profile. That's all it does. It just allows us to bring your picture and your name on here so we can see who you are. Because Facebook isn't scrolling, um, that would be brilliant if you could click on it, dear. Minute to go, guys, before the entries for the duck races close. Hashtag urban if you want to go in it and you haven't done so already. So hard with Facebook not scrolling the comments, isn't it? Oh, it's a nightmare, isn't it? Absolutely. I don't know why they're doing that. No. And good Must evening, Mr. Jones. Who? How is you, Pete? Oh, Mr. Jones here, is he? He is, just joined in, mate. How are you doing? So, it is 20 past. That's it. I will go through the list one more time. If you don't hear your name, that will be your last chance to hashtag Urban. And then it is closed. Helen Ellingworth one, Ian Baxter two, Monty Scott three, Rara four, Sean Hannah five, Wayne Leach six, Kelly T seven, Stephen Denton eight, Kelly Emerson nine, Dave Watt ten, Derek Duffy eleven, Daniel Ellingworth twelve, Kelly Marie Hannah thirteen, PNT fourteen, Mick Cartman fifteen, Owen Wilson sixteen, Danny A V F C seventeen. Sharon Duffy, 18. Ruth Kelly, 19. Awesome. That's it, guys. As always, after the duck race is finished, you will get one minute 30 they to say... They will mention it just to make sure everybody knows as no one's mentioned it before. Oh, no, I'm not mentioning it. Um... Not a chance. You will get you will get one minute thirty to say you are here in the comments, allowing for the lag. If you do not say I'm here in that one minute thirty, there will be a re-race. If like Saturday night, if yeah. the duck race finishes and it does not announce the number of the duck that won, it will be a re-race. We can't go by, oh, it looks like that. It looks like this. It might be that. It has to announce it on the screen. Yeah. And the same will go for the duck race to win 300 mil of urban juice. You will have one minute 30 to say you are here. Once you have claimed the prize, we will message Kelly Belton the name of the winner. And then you can contact her to arrange delivery and your choice of juice happy days uh with this juice because we only got the one set as well um there's gonna be about 40 mil left because i did go over to stewart's uh with some samples the other day um so there will be about 40 mil left in the bottles to go into the elvis at the end so there'll be all six going into the elvis box yes i cast the right Heck, so we crack uh, on Happy days, mate. Right. Uh, so the website. Boom. Uh, cloudyhouse.co.uk does not get any easier than that, guys. So the first one is Lem Limeade. Yeah, just bring them up. Uh, so they have on here them. at the moment uh, British Home Vape, uh, 120 mils for 12.99. Or you can get, oh, stupid computer. Uh, uh, or you can get three of them for 34.99. Uh, the urban juice, which we're looking at tonight, 
they've got a bundle deal, uh, all six 50 mil bottles for 32.99, and they retail at six pound each as well. Yeah, there we go, six pound of 50 mil, uh, and then postage on top of there as well. So, uh, so the individual good. flavors we're going to look at. So the pricing's good if you're on a budget. Absolutely. Definitely. Uh, the bottles are 70-30s, 50 mil and a 60 mil bottle. So plenty of room to add your next shots. And there we go. All right, let's crack on with them. So the first one we're going to look at is the lemon lime. Uh, more than just a seven is the uh, description on this one. Monty Scott's favourite. Quoi, that the lemon straw. That is, it's a sharp lemon as well. Um, the lime. Okay. It's got the fizz. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a straight lemon, isn't it? Yeah, that is a, a sucky and cheek lemon. But that lime does come in and compensate a bit for that, I think, at the end on the finger test. So on the vape, mm. the lemon's not quite as not as a in your face on the vape but the lime comes in after and the lime i find is a bit sharper on the vape than it was on the finger mm -hmm. overall though nicely balanced i think um on a personal level it's not for me mm -hmm. but it's not about what I like, it's about what the company are trying to produce. And um, if you like lemon and lime, and you some lemon and some lime juices can be over sweet, this one is more like fresh lemon and lime if you like yeah there, you know is, I mean? there is a level of sweetness there but it's not overplayed because you've got the lemonade it is but it is that's, that's not bad at all it's not for me on a personal level but for the juice they're trying to produce mm -hmm. I would have liked a bit of a sweeter uh, running through it, being a, 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 an aid, like a lemonade. Right. Um, if you like your lemon and lime, and you like it better, like yeah. cheek sucky in better, you are going to love this juice. No two ways about that. Um. For me, I'm going to give that one a seven. Yeah, I was going to go a seven five on that. Um, there is a slight level of sweetness there, which is really nice. It's not been overdone. Uh, <coughs> lemon is there straight away on the vape. Uh, then the lime does chase, and the lime is more predominant, I think, on the vape, um, which is really nice because normally it's the lemon, uh, and I'm normally a, I'm normally not a fan of strong lemon flavors so that does suit me nicely um for the price yeah that's really good so i'm gonna give that yeah, a I mean, 7.5 for me absolutely bearing in mind it's 6.99 did you say a bottle or six pound a uh, bottle six pound six pound a bottle mate six pound a bottle if you like your lemon and lime you're gonna love it 
Um, yeah, absolutely. Hey, like Courtney. Say, it isn't, for, isn't for me on a personal level. Um, yeah. But on what they're producing, you've got the lemon, you've got the lime. I would have liked it a bit sweeter personally to, yeah. to represent a, a lemonade. But if you like your lemon and lime, you're going to love it. Hi, Courtney. Uh, so moving on to bottle number two. Neon Green Breeze. Now, me and Stuart were talking about these yesterday, weren't we, Buzz? Yeah. And one criticism we've got, and it's not just on um, the Urban Juice, it's on a wide array, array of ranges. Jonathan Ross mode, a wide array of ranges. It's the names on the juices. Uh, so this one here is a Neon Green Breeze. Uh, so yeah, fair dues on the website. It's got a lemon first quencher um, for those hot days, but there's no actual flavour description on the bottle that I can see. The thing about that is, especially now with um, the things as they are going to be, you know, I don't think a lot of vape shops or places are going to have tester mods, um, surely because of COVID, which is a bastard. Um, I forgot to put that up as well, by the way. Um, so I think to add the actual flavour on there, don't change the name of it, keep it as Neon Green Breeze, but somewhere on the label. Just uh, a flavour profile. Just the flavour profile. So if I walk into a shop and look at the bottle, yeah. I'm not thinking, what is Neon Green Breeze? Is it apple? Exactly. exactly. Is it lime? Is it... Because a lot of people as well, would go into a shop and there's some people who suffer with perhaps anxiety or are just naturally shy and wouldn't want yeah. to ask the person what is that for the fear of feeling stupid in their head yeah so what when i first saw it before i looked on the site and uh neon green breeze i assumed was like a apple chilled um because there's already like a lemon and lime in the range um i my initial reaction to Neon Green Breeze was like an apple tango. Yeah. So, on the finger test, it's lime, it's lemonade. Um, okay. I do prefer it slightly that it's a bit sweeter, this one. The sweetness yeah. of the lemonade is there more. And they are uh, nice soft bottles, so they're bloody easy to squeeze, which is awesome. Um, you'd easily get your um, Alpha 5 on there to nick it Alpha 5. Um, alpha 3 even to nick it up. So again, not an issue. And yeah, on the finger test, this is obviously lime, and it is sweeter than the last one. It is definitely sweeter than the first one. 100% sweeter. This is not a sucky and cheap line. Yeah. Which again is more up my alley. Definitely that, prefer that over the last one. That is really nice. That is not bad at all. The sweetness is up there. The lime isn't a massively sucky in lime on it either. And it is fresh. The lime's very, very subtle. Mm. Really subtle, the lime in this one. But I like that because I do not like strong lemon or lime. Yeah, that is a really subtle lime. Um, I'm trying your trick now. We're pushing the uh, pushing your tongue up to the top. Push the, your tongue into the roof of your mouth. Yeah. And then at the back of your tongue, you'll taste the muted flavours. You learn all that as a chef, mate. You learn all mm -hmm. that. 
I've got to say that is that is quite nice. The sweetness being that little bit higher than the last juice is good. This the sweetness is far better. Mm-hmm. I'm going to sound a bit contradictory, but I love the sweetness of the lemonade in this one. I would have liked the lime a little bit more prominent okay. with that sweetness without being yeah. sour. Yeah, I get if you it. know what I mean. Yeah, you want a higher lime flavour as well as the higher sweetness. Like, like a me, proper sits, limeade would be. This this sits nicely at my level because I'm not a fan of limeade. Um, so that level of lime for me is great. It is there, but it's not. Boom. That one is another seven for me. We go for a, a uh, eight on this one. Next one is one that I'm looking forward to because I do like a good mango vape. Uh, uh, like this is. Uh, so again, the description on this one is uh, mango breeze, fresh first quencher for those hot days. So, so for this one, you get you get you, you you know what it is from the name of the bottle. So it's a mango, it's breeze, so it's going to be cold. Chilled. Mango is such a hard flavour to get right. Yeah. So on the finger, uh, it's like sweet mango, very sweet uh, mango. It's a very very sweet mango on the finger. It's really sweet. I'm getting something else in that in the background. Okay. Well, that's your chef's tongue at work. It is. It is very sweet. I mean, this is almost like a mango syrupy kind of. Yeah, um, I love a mango vape, and as I said, it's really hard to get mango right. Mm -hmm. For me, that's far too sweet for a mango breeze. Yeah, as you said, it's more like a mango syrup as opposed to a juice. Yeah, yeah, precisely. Having said that, if you like sweet vapes, you're going to love it. Yeah. If you do like your mango the sweet, there, The mango's there, but as Jamie said, it's more of a mango syrup than a fresh ripe mango. Can you get mango pieces in tins? <laughs> that's kind of what I'm getting in my head, you know? With like I know what, I know exactly what you said, like peaches in syrup and yes. as such. Like you said, it mango is a very hard flavour to nail. I'm not even getting any comments through now on um, StreamYard. Right. Unless everyone's gone to sleep. I had I like the sound of this whole range apart from the mango and iron brew. Which was hello. Mm, yeah, that's it. And Danny's just commented now. Awesome. That um that's 
I've got to be honest, that's way too sweet, I think. Yeah. That is a six for me, that one. Yeah, I'm going to go down to uh, five five on that because I would have liked a fresh chilled mango. A what? Five five. 5.5. 5.5. If it's sweet, what's it like on coils? Exactly, uh, Ian. Uh, no. Kelly, it's fine. <laughs> Nobody said anything for ages. I was like, uh, is it working? Um, no, everyone's saying hello. Yeah, on stock coils, I imagine that could possibly be a bit of a coil killer. Don't get me wrong. If you like sweet vapes yeah you're gonna love it kelly t hello after fluffy and rather, I like the sound, rather i like the sound of this one yeah nothing nothing wrong with the juice if you like that higher level of sweetness uh, on a mango i prefer a more natural chilled mango yeah absolutely it's um It is very sweet. Um, the, the mango's there, but the sweetness just overtakes it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, five, five for me and a six from you, yeah? Yeah. Cool beans. Uh, so now we're moving on to um, the secret garden. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. There we go. Um, we do a secret. weird one. So, again, you've got no idea what the flavour is before you buy it. Um, so if it is stocked in a shop, again, you see it, you don't know what it is. Um, but it is a British summer drink, strawberries, orange, spearmint and cucumber to keep you cool. So a big mix of flavours on there. So on the finger test, I get overwhelming flavour of spearmint. No, oh, hang on, could you be followed in by you're left with like you've just eaten a piece of cucumber. I don't get any strawberry or orange. But it could all change on the vape. Mm. On the finger, I gotta say I'm a little bit hesitant. Hey Kenny, you'll come up as Facebook user as well, mate, for some reason. Mr. Kenny Axe. If you could click on the link, buddy, that would be diamond. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna vape on the secret garden. That was one of the first films I went to see in the cinema as well. Was it? I don't even know what it is. You don't know the secret garden? No. Oh, mate. You ain't lived. Um, first, first hit, I get that spearmint. I, that was prominent on the finger test, spearmint. But it's like a spearmint chew. I fucking overfilled this now, haven't I? Oh, bless, man. Cucumber and a vape sounds so wrong to me, Mr. Mick Cartman. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's different. There is the slightest hint of strawberry there. Predominantly overrun by spearmint. Yeah. Chased by cucumber. And it, gives and you an it gives you an aftertaste of cucumber. Yeah. And there's very, very subtle. I'm not getting the strawberry. I'm getting subtle citrus. So that'll be the orange. Like I said um, before. Cucumber is delish if mixed right. Exactly. It could yeah. be. Yeah. I agree with Monty there. Uh, it's like putting carrots in a cake. <laughs> right. Note to self to boot Mick Cartman from Unhinged Vapors for dissing carrot cake. 
That is my favourite cake, Mick. You cannot beat carrot cake. Courtney likes cucumber bakes, weirdly. Uh, well, you are a what, so that kind of says it all, Courtney. Kelly, I agree. I didn't like the Wild Roots one either. The more I'm vaping it, the more that citrus is coming through. You get, if you concentrate on what you're vaping, you get a very, very mild strawberry right at the beginning. Then spearmint is bang. Then you get a citrus mixed mm -hmm. in with a spearmint. And then it leaves an aftertaste of cucumber. And I've got to say that aftertaste of cucumber isn't isn't bad. It's quite refreshing. It's not a flavour. I'm half what. Sorry, Courtney. Didn't mean to insult you. Um, it's not that bad, especially mixed with the spearmints. It's not something I would uh, go to look for. I. It's not a personal thing for me. Um, I wouldn't personally do it but for what they tried to produce mm -hmm. if it's your flavor profile then i think you're gonna like it courtney yeah. if you courtney like, like it if you like cucumber vapes courtney you will enjoy the flavor the aftertaste this this one leaves um if you like spearmint you're going to like the predominant spearmint flavour, possibly with those other flavours running in through it. Yeah. Um, not for me. Um, they have oh, got all four. They have got all four flavours in there, though. Yeah. Um, on what they're trying to achieve. And the fact that it's only six pound a bottle, mm -hmm. I am going to have to score that one an eight. Yeah, seven it's point not, five for me because I'm it's not, not that for story. me. It's not for me, but what they're trying to achieve, they have got all four flavors in there. Um, it's not a horrible vape. No, it's just something I wouldn't. It's just something I personally wouldn't make. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think that is a, quite an achievement to get those four flavours together like that. Mm. So I've only dropped it down uh, half below Stuart. One, because of the naming on the bottle, which could be an issue. Uh, and because I'm, I just don't get any of the strawberries. Stuart's got a more, a far higher sophisticated palette than I have. This is what I'm looking forward to. Kilted fizz. Uh, I'm so, guessing this is going to be Iron Brook. I'm guessing so. It does say on there a Scottish favourite. Now, I actually had a bottle of Iron Brew the other day, didn't I? Um, you did. Haven't had one, we both said we haven't had one for years. So, um, see how that compares to that. Drip it up, get it soaking, and I'm going to test. Again. So straight away, nothing like the iron brew I had the other day. This is more, I'm going to guess, like the original iron brew before they had to change the recipe recently. There's a lot of orange in it. Definitely mm. orange in it. Yeah. Um, which is what iron brew is, essentially. It's almost like it's a, it's a more fruitier than an iron brew. Yeah. Or than it's, what the iron brew was that I had the other day, anyway. 
That's right, Helen. Yeah, I don't like mint. Um, so yeah. But as I said, that previous one, Secret Garden. If that's if you like those flavors, you're going to love mm -hmm. the juice. And for six pound a bottle, you can't go wrong. Not really, no, not at all. There we go. Iron Brew's quite hard again, isn't it? Because the Scots put mm -hmm. all that weird spices and stuff in it, don't they? That nobody knows what it is. So that Not to me is go on. go on. That to me is it really fruity. Yeah, nice. There is that fizz there. There is that tang. Very fruit. It's a very orangey based fruit. Um drink yeah you get the fizz on the back of your tongue mm -hmm. um Deke, you're only saying that because you're scottish oh is he um you get the fizz on the back of your tongue very fruity drink very yeah. now if this is if this is what iron brew tasted like before they had to change the recipe i understand why there was a kickoff Having had a bottle last week, mm. um, but this is a lot nicer than the Iron Brew drink. So, like I said at the beginning, I'm guessing they base this on the original. It is a very fruity, fizzy <laughs> drink with a little bit of. sourness coming in at the back of it but not mm -hmm. really sour it's just a little on the back of your tongue bit of sourness brings the sweetness down i like that mate i've got to give that an eight five um yeah so kelly's the same kelly's there look i can't drink it since they changed it so this this will be your original Iron Brew fix, Kelly. For what they're going for, the flavour is near on, near on there. I'm, I was saying, I'm going, I'm going for a seven on that one. Mm -hmm. And you were uh, eight point five. Eight five, mate. I like that. I like the fizziness. I like the aftertaste. Um, it is like drinking what I remember to be an old Iron Brew. Right, so that brings us to our last one. Which is oh, the, the ultra violet, violet breeze. Which on here that is gonna be Palmer Violet. It is those little purple pills we all remember and love. Bless. It's still not the same. Huh? Derek and uh, Sharon saying about the iron brew. Um, I mean, no. No. It's, it's definitely not ease. Uh, do you know the little purple pills I was thinking about? They're blue. When I was 16, 17, going to rapes back in the 90s. I've got to be honest on the finger test. On the finger test. Mm -hmm. It doesn't remind me of ultraviolet, that uh, Palmer violet. 
<laughs> um, it's, well, to, to me, it does. It, but it's more floral. It's very fragrant. Very fragrant. And I'm getting a little bit of sourness at the back of it. There is kind of that chalky taste as well on the finger test. Yeah, yeah. But again, no season is squeeze bottle, so that's ideal. Um, I've stripped. Uh, Facebook user. Oh, oh, Palm of violets used to be a lot more full than they are now. So, according to Helen. Helen, I'm older than you. Um, <laughs> I don't remember them tasting like this, to be honest. It's very fragrant. Yeah. Um, there is a little bit of sweetness there. There is something at the end of it that's just slightly sour. Yeah. Um, it does leave your mouth chalky like you've just ate a packet of them. That is very much going to be a love or hate vape. I don't think there's any in between on this one. You're going to love it. Or you're going to mm -hmm. hate it. That's going to be the marmite of this range, I think. I think so. I, I don't think it's going to be anything in between on this. No. We'll, uh, we'll have to see about that one, Mr. Duffy. Um, I've got to say the flavour's not there. Not like the sweets. Uh, not for me, anyway. No, that's mm -hmm. a six for me. I think it's over the top on the floral aspect of it. Huh? Too floury, too. Yeah, I'm going to give that one. Um, a five on that one. A 4.5 even. 4.5. I know that seems harsh, but... I there we go, guys. Don't no, have the sweets downstairs, and then they're not not like the sweets. As we always tell everyone that we review juice for, we are yeah. honest. We will be honest. Um, we're not gonna make anything sound better than it is because we're reviewing it for somebody or somebody yeah. passed it to us or whatever the case might be. We will always be honest about what we are reviewing. Which I think is the only way to be. Um, yeah, with with that with that last one, they, if they'd have toned down the floor, because it almost took me breath away. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, but overall, not a bad not a bad range. Uh, Stu, you got the scores on the doors, mate. Overall, oh, I, scores. Um, I mean, considering it's six pound a bottle, if you're That's on a thing. budget, yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing you've got to bear in mind. Six pound and fifty mil. So you want under mil, that's only twelve quid plus your postage. That's a good price. Yeah, exactly, Monty. Thank you for uh for getting that, but yeah. Absolutely, Monty. Yeah, that's what we've always maintained as well. So it's at a sixty, isn't it? Yes, mate. So I score it 40 out of 60. Okay, so above, above average. So you score it 41 out of 60. 
Okay, no, so there were some good flavours. So overall, there. it's not a bad review. And like I say, for six pound a bottle, if you're on a budget, mm -hmm. it isn't bad at all. No, um, no, not the slightest. Uh, these guys, they do have a Facebook page, which is Cloudy House. And again, their website, which is scrolling across the bottom, and the price of the full range is uh, cloudyhouse.co.uk. Um, not bad scores for the prices. Yeah, see Sean's on it. Uh, so thank you to uh, Kay Belton for sending these out nice and quick to us and for doing the uh, Elvis for our members, which we will be drawing shortly. Do you want to do the Elvis accumulator first or the Elvis instant first? As we're, uh, as do we're doing the review, should we do the instant first? If we do the duck race for the 300 mil from Kelly, yeah. yeah, and then that will draw bring our review to a close. So, guys, remember you've got to be here at the end of this next duck race. This next duck race is to win 300 mil of urban juice of your choice. We will message Kelly. The winner, from Kelly. the winner then just needs to message Kelly herself to arrange what they want and delivery. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You must be here at the end. Okay. You'll be given one minute 30. Oh, yeah. Good point. Timer. The ducks are loading. How many do we have? 19. No, 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 19. No. Can I just confirm when Ian said roof hashtag urban? Is roof here, Ian, or is she still in hospital? If she is still in hospital. If she is still in hospital, Ian, you can claim for her at the end of this. Or are you here, Ruth? Or where are you just telling I, her to do I, it? I personally haven't seen Ruth comment, but as she's a good one, uh, if nobody objects, we will uh, leave her on in now. Yeah. Because she is in hospital, not going through a great time. And so, Podfather, it falls to you to claim if Ruth's duck comes in. Cool beans. And so remember, I've got, I've got guys, it must show the winning number on the screen. Cool. Right, so I've got 19 ducks, 45 seconds. The ducks are set. Computer's been a bitch tonight. Yeah, I've noticed. Anyone comes, so you can do all the hosting. Oh, sorry, Courtney. Um, Courtney maybe if it. your granddad's nice, he'll uh, donate his ducks to you. But I doubt it, because uh, Dave's not nice. At least you're already on the Elvis Accumulator wheel, Courtney, from Saturday. Yes, she is, isn't she? Uh, so, that's back to comments. Yeah, sorry, Stephen, mate, you missed the ducks as well, buddy. Um, but they are all on the starting line, and they are a go. And, Courtney, if you wanted to try this urban range, tap your granddad up the bottom for you. <laughs> yeah, bless him. Uh, so we've got a strawberry hat, we've got a bobble hat, we've got a Christmas, we've got a dino duck, super duck, bat duck, astral duck, Dr. Duck. It was Night of the Romans, wasn't it, Saturday? It was. It was the other night, yeah. De yeah, Derek there. Boom. I want a Roman duck. Uh, Kelly is chewing on number 13. Number 13 is a bat duck. She, uh, she was going to all it down, Owen. Um, but Kelly, Kelly, is it going to be your, is it going to be your, is it going to be your first? It oh. is number 13. Owen, mate, your duck is 16. 
Come on, computer. Time Although, it, please. Courtney, not all is lost. Not all is lost, Courtney, because... If you're already on the wheel of Elvis for the end of the month, and the six bottles Jamie has there with about 40 million in each are going in that box. Yeah. So if you, you still might get to try them. So, Kelly, you won 300 mil of urban juice from Kelly Belton. We will let you won your first duck race, and it's an instant Elvis. We will let Kelly know that Kelly won. And then yeah. Kelly messaged Kelly so that Kelly can sort out delivery to Kelly. <laughs> yes. Um, but that happy days, that's her first uh, return from Unhinged. Well done, Kelly, Marie, Hannah. Well done. So 300 mil. The winner is. Kelly, Marie, Hannah. So, yeah. well done, Kelly. We'll message the other Kelly to message the Kelly to say to Kelly about delivery to Kelly from Kelly. We'll sort all Team that. Kelly. Yeah. To Kelly. Um, so, as this was, um, that's, well, that ties up the review now, doesn't it? That brings us to the end of, of our review of Urban Juice. Thank you very much, Kelly Belton. Um, I enjoyed reviewing them. They were something mm -hmm. different. Um, Absolutely. Well done, Kelly Marie Hanna, 300 mil of Urban Juice. Um, for you. And that wraps up our review now we are just on to a basic us make the five <laughs> chat talk about what you want and all the big guys, there is two more duck races to go on to the elvis accumulator wheel which there is all but 300 mil of urban juice being added to that tonight oh Look, look who's taking claim. Look who's taking credit for it. I juiced the right duck tonight. Oh, yeah. All right, Sean. Um, yeah. Plus, at the end of the live, we do have a little announcement to make. Yeah, we'll talk sure. more about that. After we get these two duck races out of the way. So these so guys Kelly, are, you are yeah, still, Kelly, Marie, Hannah, you are still in the first race. Do you want me to go through? Do you want me to go through the numbers again, guys? Yes, please. Okay. Helen Illingworth, one. Ian Baxter, two. Monty Scott, three. Ra Ra, four. Sean Hannah, five. Wayne Leach, six. Kelly T7, Stephen Denton 8, Kelly Emerson 9, Dave Watt 10, Derek Duffy 11, Daniel Illingworth 12, Kelly Marie Hannah 13, PNT 14, Mick Cartman 15, Owen Wilson 16, Danny AVFC 17, Sharon Duffy 18, Ruth Kelly 19. No, 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 19. So, this guys is as always you've got to be here to say i'm here you've got one minute 30 after the duck race there will be two duck races it has to say on the screen the winning number and whoever wins the first duck race will be void in the second duck race you can't get on the wheel twice in one night So guys, ready when you are, guys. Hit those readies up, and uh, hit the likes, hit the thumbs up, and we shall start the duck race. Uh, 
if I don't wear Peking duck for dinner tonight, awesome. Uh, the box is already looking good. I mean, my end, we've already got, well, uh, 40 odd mils left in all six of the uh, urban juices. There is a sample pack of chubbies. There is a sample pack of ice dip. There is a 50 mil Uncle's caramel swirls. There is a sex bomb, a apple cream pie and strawberry yogurt. There is a 100 mil of iced kiwi berry from the other night. Uh, new bottle though, and that is also a soda king on ice purple soda. And guys, this has just been what the, the second review this month. And I've said there so far that is Yankee Toffee Caramel Vanilla, Uncle's Lime Ice, 100 mil unopened pink bag ice dip, 100 mil unopened ice dip kiwi berry. <sighs> Uh, oh. There we go. Oh, and also at this end, yes, there is no, 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 a KLV flyer, and on the back it says for KLV Nick Salts of your choice. Contact Owen Wilson or Gary Cooper. Yeah. And they will sort you four salts. That is also in this month's box. Maybe Absolutely. Owen Wilson doesn't know anything about that, even though he's watching. Because <laughs> that was on Saturday night. And he was obviously in bed early after his marathon live Saturday. PNT saying, beat me to it, mate. And a mug. And a mug. <laughs> and a Jana Juice mug. Damn it. Right. We'll get this duck race off to a start. So this is for a place on this month's Elvis Accumulator. And they're off. We've got a teacher. We've got a pink. We've got a Sherlock Holmes duck. I think that is a Captain Marvel duck. Uh, Statue of Liberty. We've got two of them. We've got a Cyclops. We've got a witch. We've got another doctor. 17's taken a lead. It's closely been overtaken by 15. But Captain Marvel is doing well. She is now at the front. Uh, Statue of Liberty is falling back. But the graduate duck number one is making a move for the lead. Um, but number six is creeping out in 14 is a bit of a shocker. Cyclops duck. He's making a strong lead. Whoa. But 18's giving a push. Followed by 16. It could be a photo finish, guys. I hope not. But no, it is a clear finish on the Nimbus 3000. It is Harry Potter duck. Duck number 16. And Mr. Wilson, please say I'm here. I see you are unbelievably just said make it six salts. Six salts. Owen, are you here? Are you here to claim your duck, Owen? I know he's literally just commented that, but... <laughs> he just needs to say, I'm here. I mean, let's be honest, does he really need to say I'm here when he's just made it six salts for the box? Uh, yes, he does, but it's okay because he has. Well done, Mr. Owen Wilson. You are on after, the dunes. After the giving us crap about him not being here last month to claim his duck. He does it tonight. He's in it tonight. So, well done, Owen. You are on the wheel. For the Elvis accumulate at the end of this month, um, where you could win six of your own salts back. <laughs> That'd be funny as flip. But you can have six. Oh, and you'd be able to pick six of your own choice. Exactly from what mate. you've got. But bless you, um, for that mate. Much love, buddy. Much remember there is one more race guys for the second one place race. duck 16 is now void if duck 16 happens to win second time it will be a re-race Stuart do you want to give the uh, the give the Elvis Accumulator its full name seems Owen is now on it 
Owen, you are officially on the Super King Elvis Bowler Vape Your Cards Right Super Wheel. Boom. Bless him. <laughs> so, guys, we're going to offer uh, get off on that second duck race now. Uh, this is again for another place. And they are a go. So we've got Cop Duck in one, Pink Duck in two, Purple Duck in three, Green Duck in four. Number five is red. Number six is a dinosaur. Number seven is a cop. Number eight is another pink. We have Strawberry Hat in nine. We have red in ten. Eleven what is number eight done to you? What? Well, you said number eight's a cop. Why are you being horrible? I said it's another pink. Uh, ten, uh, Twelve is green. Thirteen pirate. 14 red, 15 witch, 16. I'm going to get it all done before they're done. Uh, no, I'm not. Oh, oh, oh. 16's pushing through again. No, no. Not no. again. Fuck's sake. Re race, guys, because Owen race. is void. But have you seen what Owen has just put? If he, yeah, wins, if he wins at the end of the month, he's going to auction yeah. a lot. That be fun. Amazing, Mr. Wilson. We will touch on your live in a minute. So, guys, you're still in with a chance because Owen cannot get on that wheel twice in one night. So, if so, Mr. Cooper is about at all, yeah. if he's up to it, if he could join us as well, I'm that would be amazing in a minute. So off we go, guys, for the fourth duck race of the night. Uh, Cock Duck is number six, taking a strong lead. He is shadowed by number 17. There is Snapback number 14. We have Builder Duck in fourth, Green Duck in third. Uh, Green is now taking the lead. Uh, there's a bit of a pack at the front now. Builder Duck with his trowel is just nosing it, I think, but he's dropping back. He obviously hasn't got the legs to do it. Number four is making slow and steady progress up the front. Number two is well back there, although it is now making a sprint, as I said that. Uh, number seven, the graduate ducks at the back. The chef is useless. Mermaid's mid-range. But number two and number 19 at the bottom is on a sprint finish. 19, number two is going to win this one. It is pushed and pushed, and it is number 19. Which is Ruth Kelly. Hello, Coops. Hey, Cooper. Ian Baxter, are you here on behalf of the lovely Ruth Kelly, who is unfortunately in hospital? Boom. Easy, Ella. Barely started. Barely started it. So, that gives us... So, so far, our... King Elvis Bowler Vape Your Cards Right Super Wheel for June has Ash Lumsden, Ian Baxter, Stephen Ellison, PNT Saying, Courtney Bundy, Stephen Murray, Owen Wilson, and Ruth Kelly on so far. And I would say that is, is already close to 600. <coughs> no, I would say it's more close to 800 mil already. And that was only our second review this month. On my end alone, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. 600 in short fills and another 100 in our samples. I have got 400 in short fills and six KLV salts of the winner's choice. So there's already a thousand mil in there, guys, and we're only into the second week. There's another two reviews to go yet. Two, so maybe three, depending on how the weeks go. Um, yeah. So it's going to be back up around the same as last month, 1,800 mil job. And I'm like Mr. Sean Hanna has got on its way. Yeah, it's being picked up tomorrow. I've sent him the photo of the box. Um, so that's all been organised. So, guys, how many of you seen King of Vape live tonight? It was the most heartfelt 
brave, emotional. Words I can't even think of live yeah. I have ever seen. It. I'm not afraid to admit it. As I'm sat here, it made me cry. And the love that was on that live was just absolutely unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Exactly what this vape family is all about. For sure, man. Um, it honestly, almost speechless, such an emotional, raw, but beautiful life. There we go. Cali, bless her. Her first instant Elvis from us. And yeah, and she, she wants, wants to send, send it, it to Owen to auction off for the new charity. Um, wow. Um, it was sure. unbelievable. Um, Kelly, so, if you can get Owen's address off him, if you give that to Kelly, to Kelly when you say about your Elvis, um, I'm sure that won't be an issue, darling. Um, I'm sure Owen would accept that lovingly. Sure. Um, Any of you guys that, that don't know, Owen has put the three stars up. I'm not going to go into too much detail because it's very personal, as so is Cooper. Yeah. But they are doing a charity this month this month that means a lot to me and cast jamie and calf kelly amberson and so many more in this community i yeah. said saturday night we don't realize how much we all have in common in different aspects of our lives um the charity is called Abby's Fund, am I correct? Yep. Abby's Fund. It's called Abby's Fund, and it's to help people who have suffered child loss. That is all I'm going to say. I'm not going into details. Not my place to do so. But that well, charity... I'm, we're not in a place to say about the details, but um, just know Mr. Coops and everyone out there, you're not alone. Um, it's and, uh, far more I don't want to say it like this but it is a far more common thing than is discussed um, it, it, is. it is I mean 22 years ago it happened things were a lot different 22 years ago to today there's so much that curse never got to experience 22 years ago that you can today. Um, Abby's fund. Yeah. Um, so it's emotional. It's very close to our hearts. So we would like me and Jamie would like from us, because it means so much to us, to donate 2,000 mil of juice, unopened, brand new, 2,000 mils of juice, seven brand new Nick Salts, a brand new pod, and a brand new Nexus pod. We will be sending 2,000 mil of juice, the two pods, and the seven salts to Owen and Gary to auction for Abby's fund and we will be pushing Gary and Owen's charity this month as much as we can because it has a place in our heart absolutely so from me and Jamie Owen, send us your address, please. We will be sending you 2,000 ml of juice, two pods, and seven Nick salts that we would like you to auction off and put straight into Abby's fund, please. So there we go. Uh, Courtney, oh, bless you, darling. Um, I've been through it. I know how it is. 
Uh, so always open for a chat. What you guys are doing is amazing. Bless you. Um, well, hey, we finally got Wilson lost for words. About time. Um, no worries, Gary. No worries. No. Mate. Cooper, honestly, don't thank us. It's the least we can do. Um, it means a lot to us as it does to you. Yeah, and sure. we want to send all of that up for you to auction off and put it all straight into Abby's fund. So Abby's fund can go on and help anyone else who has to go through the pain and nightmare of this, basically. Yeah. Bless you, Kelly. You got it, dear. Not just a community, a family, and that's what we we we're getting there. It is turning around, and everyone is getting a lot closer together. And something like this really does bring you together. And twenty-two years ago, there wasn't anything like Abby's Fund. No, no, we were lucky. <laughs> um, well, I'll say we were lucky with Oliver. Um, there was another charity um down my way and if we didn't have that which is very similar to abby's fund if we didn't have that um it would be even more impacted now um so the support these small charities for what they do is absolutely amazing so uh, mr cooper the bravest man i've ever known I know what this means to him and his family. This is hashtag a fake family. Exactly. And what he did tonight coming on live, um, you know, a year after we lost Oliver, I, I could barely talk about him. Um, so for it took to do that, yeah, it, took balls. it did. Some very big balls. But this, guys, honestly, this charity I, I i can't emphasize enough how much a charity like this means to people at what is undoubtedly the worst time in their life yeah i'm just looking through nothing, their website now and it's, oh, it's, it's nothing compared to the pain of that nothing will compare to the pain of that no. And that Katie, who was on the live, who started Abby's Fund, is herself an angel because she's experienced it as well, from what I believe. And to set up something like that to help other people yeah. is just truly amazing. And it means a lot to me, Jamie, Kirsty. Kelly and Kaf and the least we can do is send that stuff up to you guys to auction off to put into that. Yeah. yeah. But it's the least we can do. And we'll get it up there for you for probably one of your later auctions near the end of the month, mate, for this one. Uh, and Ruth. Ruth is here now, bless her. Um, Hi, Ruth. Ruth. Good uh, news, Ruth. I know we kind of bent the rules for Ruth, but bless her, she's been in hospital for a week nearly. Um, I'll let you explain. I'm just having a look through the Abby's Fun Facebook page, and it's uh, um, proper tugging at my strings. I will in a minute. I will in a minute. I want to finish on this. Um, so, guys, this month... Please, please, please help King of Ape smash this charity if you can. Um, we want to absolutely raise as much as possible for Abby's fund because we know how much it is going to help people. It really is. 
Yeah. Um, we will send up the 2,000 mil, the two pods and the salt, and anything else we can do this month, we will. Um, For sure. We, Absolutely. We've got our thinking caps on, and if there's anything we can do, perhaps collaborate with KLV and do something one evening, we yeah. will sort something out because I want as much money to go to Abby's fund as we can all possibly afford. Oh, in fact, um, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just thinking if, um, excuse me, if Owen's okay with it, is that he can get us on one of the later lives in a couple of weeks' time, and instead of sending the juice to Owen, we'll we auction it. On, on a live and with us on there and send it straight from us. And we can they post it straight to the winner. Out. Say something to you all about the Scotland to then come probably halfway down to the United Kingdom again. Uh, so if we'll be yeah. okay with that, but we'll, we'll have a talk, uh, Gary and Coop. We'll have a talk. We we'll sort it out. Yeah. But for sure. For sure. We will. And don't forget, guys, um, Owen will correct me in the comments now. Is it the end of this week? Is it the end of this week? Owen releases a new single. I think so. And all the proceeds of the single, guys, goes to Abby's Fund as well. And exactly. if you haven't heard it yet, it is awesome. Yeah. Bless you, Owen. Um you're a legend. But we'll have a talk, mate. Uh, I quite like Mick Cartman's idea, late night auction. Um, we'll see. We'll see what we can come up with between the four of us. Um, yeah. It would be on the King of Vape site. Yeah. Because we can't do auctions on here being a group. Monday, guys. There you go. On Monday, go to your favourite music platform. Owen's new song. It is outstanding please please download it whatever it costs 79p 99p whatever it might be whatever please download it and don't yeah. stream it because when you stream it i think owen said it's something ridiculous like 0.001 percent or something goes to the charity when yeah. you stream it crazy isn't it yeah when it is what it's for, and yeah. But most of all, me and Jamie wanted to... We're already close with KOV as it is. But we just wanted to extend our hand a little bit to them and say to them, that we stand side by side with them for this charity. And if we can help in any way, please just ask us. Good thinking, Wilson. Good thinking. So yeah, this new one is only available on download. Awesome. Make sure you're watching their lives yeah. uh especially on a monday night at six o'clock it is when they do their auctions um there may be more auctions this month if people are going to donate possibly um but monday nights general rule of thumb get over to king of eight online at six o'clock yeah for the bomb and blowouts I do apologize in advance that when you get there at six o'clock, you do have to sit through half an hour of Cooper bragging about <laughs> this frigging trophy. And after going 2 0 up tonight, yeah. by the end of this month, you're going to have to sit through Owen going on about the pigging trophy. 
but once they've got the trophy out of their system, they do some amazing things for charity. What yeah. they have just, the charity they have just finished, what they have done for mine is unbelievable. And amazing. now let's, as a vape family, help them smash the contributions, the money for Abby's fund that is going to help so many mothers, fathers, grandparents, siblings. So we can do this, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely smash it. Thank you very much. Cooper and Wilson. Yeah, don't take any notice of Cooper's comment, please, that the trophy, he doesn't like to talk about it. He likes to talk about it more than Wilson, unfortunately. Even takes yes. it out with him and takes pictures of it on the roof of his car. We take thought around Wilson to was bad. He member houses to take pictures. So, yeah, don't listen to him. But... Cooper, I hope you realise what you have actually done is tonight, Wilson said, he's now 2-0 up. If he wins next week, he gets that trophy back. He has already said he is going to have to up his game in mentioning the trophy. So on your head, be it, Cooper. If, if I see much more of that trophy, it is going to get... I'm, I'm going to get in a car. I can't drive, but I'm going to get in a car. I'm going to go find it, and I'm going to bury it. And I don't mean in the ground. No, absolute respect to you, Gary, for tonight, and respect to Mr. Wilson for doing what he does for oh. KLV. Just respect for the both of you and KLV, to be honest. For what Wilson, you do. Uh, Wilson to get out of bed tonight, sit there, do the live, even sing for God's sake tonight when he is in so much pain. He um, said that, that is why he got out of bed to sing that song. Yeah. Wow. It's unbelievable. What he done Friday, away from the charity. Yeah. Saturday. Away from the charity, Saturday. Saturday five and a half hours to bring us guys <laughs> in Bola to win amazing prizes. You could yeah. see by the end the pain he was in. Bless him. He's, he's a good lad. Kaylee, I kind of hold you partly responsible for encouraging him with the trophy. Oh, bless you, Pete. See, there's a lot of support out there. Absolutely. Um, Guys, if any of you want to donate, please DM Mr. Wilson. He'll get to you when he can. He is currently in a lot of pain in bed. Um, if you have donations you'd like to send, if you want to donate to the charity itself some money, like people did tonight on their live, just contact Mr. Wilson, he will get to you when he's got two minutes. Because even though he's in bed in agony, he's still working tirelessly. Um, so just bear with him. And speaking of KOV, I had a really nice little delivery today. <laughs> you might have seen the live. Yeah. You got your green, brother. Green Pos X. I currently have Pink Princess in it. Well, I'm still on my POSX, and I am on uh, the Iceman, which is a, a which I don't think you've tried it, have you? It is no. a apple and mango ice blast, and I've got to say, I am loving it. Loving it. I am not going to tell you what I think of Pink Princess until I do yep. my podcast tomorrow. Because we are reviving, reviving the salt cast, aren't we? The Saltcast will be back from tomorrow. I have the complete... I've done all the KOVs. I now have the complete... I've, yeah, I have. Yeah, I've done all the KOV 
new and improved range. I now have the complete range of heroes to go through, so that's another eight salt casts. Yeah, upsetting Kelly. Sorry, Kel. Bless. I did actually just before we went live, I did get another box from um, Wilson today. I put it down, and that was a mistake. There it is. No, it's not. There it is. You know. You know, I've only been on the Plozac for a few hours, really. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know, I've got to be honest, I might like it a little bit more than I do my like, but it's so close, it's hard to call. Yeah, that's an awesome box. Uh, so in there, I've got the Purple Hulk, Daily Planet, Poison Ivy, another Iceman, awesome, a Banana Man. A Heisen Iceberg, a Deadpool, uh, uh, two KLV Shortfields, one Super, one King. I got some Uncles, I got some Tutti Fruity, got some Sherbs, uh, a set of coils, a diamond, some battery wraps, some cotton. So happy days, happy days. Yeah, awesome. All and do you know what? For now is my. Winnings from play your cards right and some coils for Catherine and then happy day. I know Hermes have been having a bit of issue, so do you know what I'm gonna do? What are you gonna do, Steve? I'm gonna put my neck on the line. Because there is so much love tonight. I am going to go with what Owen told me last week. Guys, if any of you want the Drag X or the Drag S, mm. head over to the King of Vape website. They have got it at an unbelievable price. Okay. With a range of KLV salts or a range of hero salts. But if you go in order while we're live, you can mix and match your salts. So you can have two of this, two of that, two of the other, three of this, four of that. So if you order that on the KLV site while we're live, I am holding Mr. Wilson to what he said last week. Um, Pete, I'll it, see it, if I can get away. I, I, I'm only seeing if I can get away with it, guys, because there's so much love tonight. Absolutely. You're pushing your luck. Um, Pete, the name is Jamie a Sexual a Jedi Wix. He knows it. He knows it. Uh, so Laura I told is you Huh? I told you about mine, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> the courier asked for ID for Stuart Beefcake Harkham because I was the WWE chairman. <laughs> Well, I did you did he did he actually want to see ID? Yeah, really. <coughs> and wow. I just laughed at him. Uh, so, laugh. Laura, Laura tonight is I love the light on the crown jewels. I love the posex. Oh, Laura's posex came today, didn't it? Yeah. Yes, diamond. Happy days, uh, Mister Wilson. We're, has we're safe. We're, we're safe, as Cooper just said. We got away with it. Yeah. There you go, guys. Get over to King of Vape site now. They got the Drag S, the Drag X. I King think of what? Stuart? Vape. That's right then. No S. Um, no, King of Vape. Um, I'm sure Jamie will bring the website up now. Oh, just See you later, me. Danny. Just unplug me monitor, but okay. Ugh. Plug it back in. Yeah. Um, oh. Oh. Um, they've got the drag X. You should have seen Kelly's name. Uh, my computer's being a tit. I can't see nothing at the moment. Uh, is that AFC? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Bless you, man. Take it easy, buddy. Uh, so I've got to bring up the KLV. Sorry. Cool. Uh, so they have got the drag X and the drag S with. Eight salts of your choice. 
if you order during this live. And I think it's only forty-eight ninety-five delivered for all of that. Uh, yeah, that's for the X forty-eight ninety-five, <laughs> and for the S is forty-nine ninety-five, and that's delivered postage covered and eight salts of your choice whilst we're live. So if you want one, you're looking at one. Um, now's the time. And that is a choice out of sixteen salts. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm pretty sure Owen will be updating the site soon to have the hero salts on there as well. Uh, they do come in five and ten milligrams. Can't go wrong. So, Jamie, Kelly if Willie Emerson, I was going to say, if you look, there's a picture to put on screen. She shouldn't have said it, really, should she? No. All right, this is where I struggle now because I've got a multitask and I don't multitask very well. Um, so this guy was the name that the lovely Kelly Emerson had on our parcel from Owen today. Lovely, because lovely, any of you that don't know, today. once you already had a delivery from Owen, on your first delivery, you will get your name. On yeah. the second delivery, there after you will get a name that well, the courier must have a proper giga. And that was the lovely Kelly Emerson's parcel today from Hermes. Adult inflatables. Well. <coughs> is what it is, isn't it? That's it. Yeah. Um, the S there was salt is forty nine ninety five delivered. Um, and again, whilst we're live, you can choose what ones you want. I'm person. I'm personally thinking of going for the X, but I'm going to wait till next month, and then I'll order it when we're live. Um, oh. And Kelly's just sent us the next one. <laughs> Kelly Love Maker Emerson. Whoa. I don't inflate most. Hey, have you got like a sideline business that you've not told no one about? Um last year. And what's in what's in that next one, Kelly? What's in there? Do you know? That's her winnings from Saturday, I believe. Oh, that's going to be a box and a half. She, yeah, it is because she's got the rainmaker in there. Yeah, she won that. Krona, is it Kronos? The silver sub home, sub home yes. one. Yeah, the Sagani kit. Oh, then she won another Sagani Kronos. Yeah, in the raffle. Plus oh. other bits. Oh. Hang on, hang on. There we go. Uh, she she has it. I'm a lifetime member. Well, there you go. Happy days. Happy days. Uh, we're live again on Wednesday this week, aren't we? Yes, we are. Four, three. It is going to be Bozai again. Unhinged versus the Watts. I, I can't and, stand being tied, mate. I really can't. No. And we have Mr. Neil Dudbridge throwing darts for us again. Mr. 180 himself. Brilliant. Brilliant. I know Team Unhinged is going to be me and Jamie. We do not know who we're up against yet. Looks like somebody wants to get themselves a drag axe. Wade Wilson. Awesome, man. Ooh, and possibly a Pos X is in that box of Kelly as well. Oh, um, yeah, Pos X might be in there as well. Plus all oh, the juicy um, ones. 
Oh, and uh, mate, look, you're not well, buddy. You, you're going live on KLV enough as it is, mate. We honestly don't want to strain you. We, we, you're not coming live on Wednesday night, mate. Not happening. And the, um, Cooper, much love you. to you, sir. Amazing. Um, thank you for tonight. Um, Absolutely. Thank you. Honestly, mate. Yeah. And if you say thank sorry you. for breaking down one more time, I'm not having it, mate. You've got nothing to be sorry for. No. In uh, fact, so. Mr. Cooper, next time you apologise for that, you will be force fed Devon custard slices. But to be <laughs> fair, you will you will like that. You will then realise they're better than Yorkshire ones. So perhaps that's yeah. not much of a punishment. But don't don't start him off, mate, because he's got a shoot. So um yeah, uh, Courtney loved the last one. No, I'm guessing she's on about the bullseye. Um, Wilson, you got blow up goat on its way. Ooh, Ooh. Kelly, can I have one? Can, Team can KLV Cooper. Team KLV Cooper, you take care, mate. You take care. Bless you. Kelly, on a, on a, on a personal level, if you do do inflatable goats, please, please can I have one? Just saying. Why? You're not, you're not an Arab? Well, no, but at least the goat don't say no. I can hear my daughter kicking off in the background, bless her. She doesn't want to go to bed. What's new? And uh, what else have we got to say tonight? I think... I think that's it, dude. Um, yeah, we're live. Wednesday on the watch. Eight o'clock for Bullseye. Three. So that we means... Don't know who no... we're going to get to that, do we? Oh. Wilson, there's no point in trying to get on the team because there's no questions about Goldie Horn this time. Um, it does mean, however... I'm trying to work it out. No, it's on a hinge this week. What is? The game show. No, it's on what this week because Dave's hosting. We hosted the last competition. It brought us 3-3, free free, remember? How does that work? Because normally when Dave hosts it, we do a late night live. Because last week... We did the black mask instead of a game, didn't we? Right. Yes, we did. Which should have been Dave. Yeah. And it was our week to do. So it's put us out of sync. Yeah. So basically two weeks ago, we did the one that brought us up to 3-3. Free free. Uh, last week, we didn't do a game on either page because of. Uh, the black mask. Black mask. Two. So it's now back to the watch. Um, but I was ju I've got Courtney's comment there pinned for a reason. Um, Courtney, what are you up to 8 o'clock Wednesday? Because Dave hasn't told us who the team is. And as you are one of the newest members, um, I think, honestly, I think you should be coming on. Well, so much love to you and KLV. <laughs> but my offer stands. Bugger off, Wilson. Um, I want to take on Courtney. Oh, look at the look at the emoji that's just come up. Look, what's that? I can't see it. From Courtney. Um, scroll, scroll, scroll. Smiley face. Yeah. So I'm guessing we're up against Courtney and someone else. I want to do over Dave's granddaughter on the live for sure. So, in theory, Dave Watt has messed our sequence up of midweek late night lives. Um, so, yeah, we're not doing one this week because we did one last week. Yeah, but we shouldn't have done long one last week and we should have done it this week. Well, it don't matter, does it? Just blame Dave Watt anyway. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's all Dave's fault. Um, yeah. He's already asked, I'm thinking about... Well, Courtney, this isn't asking now. This is unhinged throwing down the gauntlet at the what? At Courtney Bundy. Gauntlet thrown. Can't say no to that now, can you? Um, I think you should host it, Courtney. Whilst I can't argue that she is going to be a far better looking host than Dave, um, or hostess, sorry. Um, no, I, I, I want to do Dave's granddaughter on a live. You're fucking wrong. Mm hmm. <laughs> and, and no F word, Mr. Harkham. F's all right. Fair one. All right, then. F is fine. You can say fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck. It's fine. Not if you can't pronounce my last name. Stuart, can you pronounce the last name, please? You pronounce it first, and then I'll see oh. where you're going wrong. I already have. Bundy. Bundy. Yeah. That's what I said. No, you said, you said Bundy. Bundy. Yeah. No, it's not. It's Bundy. Well, whatever. It's... It's, it's what it is. <laughs> Bless. You're I lucky he's not here. Who's not here? Courtney says you're lucky her granddad's not here. Oh, yeah, I know. Awesome. I love going live without Dave. He does my head in the comments, to be honest. Um, but we are doing a late night live Saturday night with a bit of an announcement to make. Um, yeah, we do have another announcement, don't we? What's that, mate? We do have another announcement, don't we, Saturday? Yeah, yeah, that'll be coming Saturday. Uh, so stay tuned for that. We'll be normal time, late night live, 10 o'clock-ish. Or do we do it now? No, wait. Saturday? Saturday. Executive decision, foot has gone down. I pulled wank over you. It is what Jamie said this time. Fun day. Fun day. And that's what I've always said. <laughs> I think I pronounced it Bundy the first time. Right. Bless her. <laughs> so, guys, we're going to love you and leave you. Thank you ever so much for joining us on the review. If... Um, Kelly, if you're still here, Kelly Marie, that is. I do look forward to my mail tomorrow if it comes, bless you. Um, I'll do a nice little live opening on that. Don't forget, guys, you've oh. got about five minutes if you want a drag X. I very, 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 very nearly forgot. Just had a cheeky poke from Mr. Hannah Thursday night. Oh, yeah, guys, we're live about 8.30 Thursday night. We've got an uh, unhinged late night live. Not much else going on Thursdays. So if you can join us at about 8.30, thank you for reminding us, Sean. Cheers, Sean. Uh, you bastard. <laughs> no, no seriously. 8.30, coil benders, isn't it? Yes. Vapor's, Vapor's got talent. talent. Awesome. Uh, I think they got five acts. Um, Confirmed. Going to be an absolute cork of a night. Something completely, completely different. Um, I know actually putting posters up. Oh, oh, Kelly's decorating for the live. There awesome. you go. Um, so that is going to be something that I've never seen in the vape community. And it is 8 p.m. on the Coil Benders page. Got that one right. Um, that's going to be an absolute laugh. Absolute laugh. Uh, none of the none of the acts have been announced, but Kelly has said they are all different. So it's going to be a proper variety. Yeah, absolutely. 
and and the winner gets uh, gets a Hannah box, I believe. Please correct me if I'm wrong, Kelly. Sure. Um, Ender's box. Well, it's on the Hannah, so it's a Hannah's box. No promotion, just a community coming together. Brilliant. Absolutely, mate. Awesome. Diamond. That's how it should be, man. Not all the time. You know, obviously, companies promote, what have you, but it's nice just to have a bit of a break. And, yeah, I'll definitely be watching. Oh, she's putting the advertising into groups. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, guys, whilst Kelly's on that, you know, post up on Unhinged at the moment, a bit hit and miss as to when they're getting approved, because uh, it is only me and Stuart working on there at the moment. Um, but we are trying to keep on top of it, and things are going to get a lot better on Unhinged. Massive, massive things to come from us, guys. Yeah. Crash does get on there when she can, but half the time, to be honest, she's sleeping because of her meds or in too much pain. Yeah. Um, it is just me, Jamie, and Cash at the moment, <clears throat> mod wise. So bear with us, guys. Um, like I said, got things in the works. We're in talks with some people. Um, got a few things being organised, and all shall be revealed in time. But we'll leave you on that little cliffhanger, shall we? No selling, no promo, various teams and groups coming together for an amazing show. So please share everywhere. Awesome. Will do, mate. Will do. But we're going to leave you with one last cloud. Say goodnight. Look forward to seeing you on Wednesday when we kick Dave's ass. Take care, guys. See you later, guys. Take care.